Hello, true believers. This is Bevots Only. And woke up this morning to an interesting comment that I wanted to respond to. And as you can see here, it's Brain Dead responding. And probably the title of this video, the working title is probably, you know, Bevots Only responding to Brain Dead, the ugly American comments. So let's get to the comment itself and I'll let you know what I, my thoughts on it, opinion and analysis. So here we go. So this was, was written an hour ago, as you could see, I can't really zoom in too much because it's a little out of focus. So it was in my natural body transformation, 10 month progress report. So it was about 10 months, give or take. So I, 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 in the video I said a year, but it's, it's more accurately 10 months. So he opens up with, a, he says, I don't know how old your son is. Uh, and to answer that question, he's 14 turning 15 this year. So that's his age. So I don't know how old your son is. So I, I mean, if you do the math, everybody pretty much knows I've been blogging for, for over, you talk about over a decade. and. You've seen Hero grow up over those years and his progress. So, uh, and he says he is, but uh, you can tell he has real good genetics, real good genetic base. His quads are huge and uh, the width of his shoulders blew up over the year with gym strength and soccer explosive speed. So we got gym strength, soccer explosive speed, fast twitch mixed with cardio, fueled endurance, slow twitch, he has become a triple threat. So I assume he means the strength, the speed, and the endurance. So strength, speed, endurance is what he's talking about, uh, triple threat. And also, we also work on his academics also. I, I take a lot of time. Everybody knows that I have an educational background. If, if I'm like from the I'm, I'm like the captain from Saving Private Ryan. When I ask what was, what was your job, it's like I was a teacher. Yes, I, w I was a certified teacher also. So I do my best, even though Hero doesn't have any natural talents, what we make up for it is, is hard work. Talent can always be developed. There's, nat there's, there's talent that's, that's natural that you don't have to work hard for it, and then there's talent that you can develop. So that's what we have to do. So that's what Hero's talent is, and even in academics, especially math. So if you do something over and over again, you'll you'll definitely get better at it. So here, so here's my comment. Here's my opinion, and I, I I know what you're doing, brain dead. And ever since I got out of prison, he's been trying to, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Make amends for, for what he did, and I. Uh, I believe when it comes to his type of personality, he's, he's uh, like a lot of people like him, they're, they're paranoid, they're obsessive, they're kind of neurotic versus me. I, I have my paranoia, but for, for very good reason. And my obsession for, for, for obvious reasons, I, all my, all, all my quirks and uh, uh, problems or my nuances are, are based on valid experiences. Just like my my problem with with the police over here, and the people say, "Oh, we we know you're you're paranoid about the police." It's like I'm not. Par it's not paranoia, is what I, is is what I tell people. I remember there uh, because I don't like them. I don't like interacting with them, and it's uh, all my interactions with them have been horribly terrible. So. Uh, but when it comes to brain dead, uh, ever since I got out of prison, he's been, <laughs> he's been, uh, as you can see, first he did this kind of like backhanded apology when I was live streaming, he showed up. I think from what I can remember, he said things like, oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm sorry about this, but I'm not sorry about those kind of things. And if I remember, he said like, uh, if I was going to continue, oh, with uh with my adventure with young girls again and i and uh, the the simple answer to that is uh, that's not that can't be avoided i mean if you're in the philippines no man is an island 
Uh, eventually this pandemic will, will end and I will be uh, living my life here in the Philippines like I always do. And that's, there's nothing you could do to, to say, say, <laughs> say or do to stop that. And him telling me uh, what to do as if he can do anything about it is, is the problem with why brain dead is dead. That's why he's brain dead. And this is the video is called the ugly American. So ever since I got out of prison, I, I, obviously, as you could see when I was in prison, what he says about me, but when I was out of prison, as you could see what he's saying now. So I've, I've always, blogged about his comments and responded to his comments and his emails. And so when I was in prison, he made several videos about me, but now that I'm out, he's out of prison and then it's a different story. So it, it, he reminds me of like the character from like, if he was in Transformers, he, uh, he would, I would call him like, star, he would be like Starscream. He's like this kind of kiss ass, but he'll stab you in the back the first opportunity he gets, just like in the movie, like in the Transformers movie where he just like kicked Megatron out of the space shuttle after he was injured. So he could, so now he wants, so now that I was in prison, it's like, okay, now I can talk about you now. And, and the limey made a very accurate analysis about that, about how brain dead is the, when it comes to like, if he was like a soccer thug, he would be the one starting the riots. And then when the fights start, he'd be the one way in the back. And he made a point because I've been vlogging for years and years and decades before he was even, when, uh, when he was still in America, uh, being a crybaby before he came over here, I was, I've been vlogging and vlogging and never has he said any, never has he made a blog about me or said anything about me or was until like, I, you know, you didn't realize that like, oh, he was like so upset about me and Sissy when I was in prison. So that's how, th this is how, I mean, if I, I, I'm, I have this code, I have this warrior's code that I don't fire until I've been fired upon. It's, it's very simple. That's just not my code. It's just like a, it's like a code of men with honor. And especially with him, he's just a visitor over here. He's just a tourist visa over here. You would think that he would stay in his lane. So and so people would always ask me to comment on this. Even, even the frog, people will ask me to comment on the frog. And I go, he's never made anything about me. And if I, and I see no, re I, I don't see any reason why. I mean, he's just another beaner here in the Philippines. Oh, not another beaner, but he is just another beaner. And then, and what, what have they accomplished? What have they done? And so, so brain dead, as you could see, he's running scared. He checks my, my vlogs on a daily basis and to see what I've been up to. And I, and I made the, I, I posted that video that he made about me and I kind of looked at the, the beginning and the end. I didn't really look at the middle because I wanted to kind of look at it. Yeah, in like, what's the word? Uh, spontaneously, I don't want, I, I want to have like a spontaneous reaction to it. So I haven't, but I know it's going to take a long time for me to, to respond to it properly. So I haven't really given it due time. And the reason why is because I'm, as everybody can see, I'm busy enjoying my life right now ever since i was in ever since i got out of prison i've been doing nothing but enjoying life enjoying the kids so i uh, revenge it has has is is there it's still on my list and uh I, but part of best part of revenge is is enjoying life first but once this pandemic is done so, so back to brain dead, the ugly American, why, uh, why is he making these comments? And like I said, he is trying to maybe, uh, probably people in the comments will, will, will try to make peace with me after what he did. The problem is that he, he broke the law. He broke the, his, his visa restrictions. Now, when it comes to the law, 
uh, here's here's what you have to think about. Here's what. Now, you don't have to be a lawyer. You don't have to be a judge. You don't have to be an expert on the law. But the last thing you want to do when you go visit a country is then say, go on public record, and like your YouTube channel with uh, thousands of views, tens of thousands of views, and start attacking a natural born citizen of that country that you're a visitor of. I repeat, you don't need to know anything about the law. That's just plain stupid right there. And why? He definitely, if you, if, if you watch the video, I, I caught enough of it that it, he, there's definitely a lot of emotional about it. And uh, there's nothing wrong with being emotional. I mean, his, his motives for making the video, as you can see, it's all emotional. There's nothing, there's no financial gain from it. So, I mean, Filipinos, when they do something wrong, it's, usually, it's always greed, always about money. But when it comes to brain dead and people like brain dead and the people in his cult, it's like, what is their motivation if it's not money? And then it gets to a, a different level. And what, what is that emotion? Now, when it comes to emotion, it's something that women do, which is, that's what they are designed for, to be, to, uh, for their actions and their, and their thoughts to be based on emotion. And when a man does it, I know I get in touch with my feminine side, but usually that's to get in touch with other people feminine people. But when he was doing, when he got in touch with his, his emotional side, when he made that video, you know, what it just shows that the, a person is weak, right? He can't control his emotions. You're not a man if you can't control your emotions. And so what emotions was, was controlling him uh, that made him do this video? I mean, you guys could all say in the comments and uh, I, I can only extrapolate based on like what he did to Sissy and what, what, what is it? Was it, was it jealousy? And that's probably because I, I would say that, that Sissy, uh, made a live, a podcast or a live stream with me and picked me as one of, uh, of the new year persons to, to do a live stream with. And he, he never in a million years he considered brain dead because he, oops, never in a million years he considered brain dead to be part of his body. But because he, he, has, he hasn't done anything interesting. He hasn't accomplished anything. Writing a book because you wrote a book is not an accomplishment. And what did he do? He, he got some plain Jane with messed up teeth on the internet and lived here in the Philippines. And you could say that's an interesting accomplishment. No, I mean, I guess people could say that like coming here and living here for in the Philippines is one thing, but people do it here all the time. It's nothing special. You know, can you make a difference? Absolutely, absolutely not. Are you saving jobs? No, you're not saving jobs. Are you creating jobs? No, you're not creating jobs. You're just creating a job for yourself. You're, everything is about himself. I mean, that's, I, I know Jim Bob, I've said that about how, how he's narcissistic. So I, so back to what I was saying. So then uh, he, so well, let's just go a little bit more into his background. I know I'm probably gonna get uh, more into it when I do a proper response video and, or what his accomplishments are. What? He got Pico, he got, he, he was shotgun marriaged. He's in a marriage now. And if, if you probably look at him, He's, he's in a worse prison than I ever was because like he's in a prison without walls because his, his, his new upgrade, <laughs> which is not saying much compared to his old one, need to do a video of that. It's like, it, it's like is, his, is, is this new one, the, the shotgun, let's just call her shotgun, is she, a, is she an improvement? Is she an upgrade? I would probably say, yeah, but compared to the old one with the messed up teeth, the plain, even he knows that she was plain and like nothing to write home about. That's why he cheated on her constantly and kicked her to the curb. I don't know what the settlement was. I don't know, I'm not privileged to those kind of details. But that <laughs> it's like, yes, the, the shotgun is, a, is, is an upgrade, but that's not saying much is what I'm saying. Even he knows that, even he'll agree to that. No, no libel or slander there. That's just a simple fact. Is it an upgrade? Yes. 
<laughs> is it saying much compared to what what he what he was what he was stuck with before and he was luckily he was get out of it not much but the fact that like he has this this habit this hobby of cheating and now he's been shotgunned he's he's not living a very good life now he's always she's always probably like uh he he would be probably what what you would call here his uh his prison guard so he's got this pre permanent prison guard now he's literally it literally is a ball and chain for him i, I don't know probably people in the blogs will probably comment about that that he's that he he can't be trusted or she definitely doesn't trust him that's for sure and what kind of life is that like where you're constantly somebody is just like nagging you and ball and chaining you i mean that's and in his defense that that does that doesn't just happen to him you know that happens to everybody but back to what i was saying about you don't attack so you're a tourist visa and for the longest time he didn't make any videos about me but as you can see he exposed what he was really feeling and thinking about all these years and then finally he had the opportunity while i was in prison where i couldn't respond well now here I am responding, and is he making videos? Obviously not, you know, does that make him a coward? If the shoe fits. So here's, and what happened was when I was in prison, I, I could imagine, I, I could only tell, I'm sure once that thing about me blew up, and it's like, what were you doing, that was only? Well, I, I, I was doing what you call, uh, I would say, extensive research at that time, right? Now that I've, I've proven that I'm, since I'm innocent, the law has said, the judges have said that I'm innocent. So uh, what does, you know, why, why is, why is brain dead, the ugly American scared now, right? Because if, I mean, obviously making these comments, tracking my vlog. So I, I, I told him already, it's like, look, you know, we got to, if you want to do this the proper way, you made a video about me, you know, you got to you got to make a video about about me again. You know, where is your apology? You know, let's do a live stream. There's a lot of things we need to talk about. I uh, one of the things is probably to talk about your video. Let's play your video, let's discuss it. And let's start, you know, probably one of the things off the top of my head, one of the things I want to discuss, I ask him and talk about in this video or in his live stream on or in his channel is where did you get these pictures right and it, yes facebook has this policy that like uh, of privacy and and facebook has privacy uh, uh, privacy settings that says only only friends can see these pictures which was which was something that was activated and when it comes to those pictures so who is the mole who is the backstabber that uh, and obviously this is the philippines even uh, what's his name peter vandeveer has has said several times that the philippines is has a lot of backstabbing crab in the barrel uh, it's it's in the culture. It's the it's the misery loves company. If misery loves company, then then disasters are or crises is, is pure joy for for other people, especially for someone like me that uh, I wasn't miserable. But once they saw I was miserable because of what happened, especially in prison, then it's nothing but utter joy. And that's where the kind of the the culture of the backstabbing culture is so who is the backstabber that fed him all these pictures that he could use in his his videos is probably one thing i would probably comment on or i would probably grill him on uh in addition to the other issues including his motives sissy how does he sleep at night those kind of things and i always say that like the the sins of the father are always visited upon the son or the kids in his in his case is his daughter so uh, there's this universal rule what comes around goes around and i'm sure that's another thing that keeps him at night you know what what did he do what did he do wrong and what will it do to his daughter and i i know i i experienced the same thing also i have my own I'm, I'm not perfect i always said that like let he who has not sinned cast the first stone 
and I'm not perfect also. I, 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 that's all I do now is redemption now for what my sins have caused to my family, especially my, especially my son. And I know that and I recognize that. And maybe Brain Dead is seeing that also. The biggest problem that Brain Dead is what, what Brain Dead did or what he's dealing with is Bebots only is not the person you want to attack, especially here in the Philippines. And there's a certain there's certain person cer certain qualities, certain traits about Bebots only that he is a person that's what do you say? He's disciplined, and he could you could probably say that several pe people have said that he's smart. I'm not smart probably in like rocket scientist terms. But what I do, what I do lack in that, you know, is like I do, I'm, I'm calculated, and what's even scarier for, for brain dead is I get results, and, for example, if if it's possible or if it is decided by the law that he is guilty, then that's, uh, and if I, that's something that I decided to pursue, then definitely that's going to be a result because I'm also results based okay once i have my mind or my uh, i have an idea or my mind set on something i usually go after it until i get my results based right now because of the pandemic because of other issues right because things i mean you know i i've been i got out of prison it's been a year since i've been out of prison and i and i'm still enjoying life and i'm still making up for past uh, i'm still doing a lot of catching up with with my family with hero especially with the school with the sports even during this pandemic so uh, but also but that doesn't mean by no way shape or form that once things go back to normal whatever the, no, the, the new normal is that that he's fallen off my list okay and so it it's like a it's not I didn't come here to the Philippines to be the enforcer or to make an example out of ugly Americans like brain dead. But if I have to, which he forced my hand to, you can't just, you know, if you just attack me, then I probably would have forgotten and forgiven it a long time ago. But the fact that he made it personal, he, he, he could have just, he could have just attacked me and kept it on me, but he brought he drew, he dragged my family into this. He he put them in more danger than he already than than uh, they already were in already. Because that's another scary thing about Bebots only is that you can throw the worst things at him, and people will testify that yeah, the worst things America threw at him, he was he was able to survive. He was there, a poor minority with a single mom. That's like the only thing that I'm missing is I'm a, I'm a woman and a, a lesbian and on top of that, but a poor minority, single mom. So I had every disadvantage and I was still able to survive whatever America threw at me. And I, I wasn't a statistic. If anything, I had a certain amount of success. And maybe that's a problem with a lot of people like Brain Dead and his cult and his cult followers. So uh, I, I always tell Filipinos when they go abroad that they're there not to become successful, but they're there to be used and exploited for their purposes so they can become successful, not because you become successful yourself. And if you do become successful, then they're going to have a big issue with it because because Amer America, America is for Americans. OK, and if they think that you're successful, that you have money then they're going to think you're like Wesley Snipes, not Bernie Madoff, okay? So Bernie Madoff for like 50 years pulled the biggest Ponzi scheme because he was white versus Wesley Snipes. He's like black, so let's put him in jail with his success and get him for something as as easy or simple as, all, as tax evasion. But anyway... The point I'm saying here is that uh, Bevels only is a survivor. Imagine what he survived. The worst thing the Philippine National Police threw at him after they committed the crime of ex you know, extortion, blackmail, wire fraud. And, and oh, I know, oh, I know in America that's what you call it, but over here in the Philippines, it's called Tuesday. So, the the point is Bevels only is not a person you want to cross swords with because I and I don't want to cross swords with anybody. I'm like 
if you remember that uh, Lou Ferrigny, Bill Bixby, a TV series, The Hulk, where it's like, I just, look, I'm just living my life. I'm enjoying it. My, you know, you stay in your lane, I'll stay in my lane, mind your own business. But people, for some reason, you know, what is his motive, right? And like I said, you can, people can make in the comments, but one of them is jealousy, obviously. Uh, whatever it is, is it, uh, what is it, <laughs> what is it that people are jealous of? I mean, you name it, it's, I, I'm sure it's all there. You know, it's like, uh, I have a, I have a hero that has a, it, it's, I have a bumper sticker that says my kid is an honor roll student. It's like, I have a bumper sticker that says my kid is a MVP starter striker for his, for his school. I have a bump, I have a bumper sticker that says it, it's, it's, Obviously, you you can go from there. I, and I always said when people are jealous, there is no limit to what their actions are. They cannot control uh, how they're going to behave, and that's pro and that's the most likely what happened to Brain Dead. I mean, and the constructive thing to do when I get jealous is to improve yourself, not to attack people uh, once you get the opportunity. And that's what he did. And he broke the law, and like uh, uh, like justice, uh, let justice prevail. And and like I said, he could have, he had an opportunity to to take off his to take the video off his channel, like a lot of people did, but he didn't. And you could see he was giddy. And uh, justice demand, <laughs> it's like justice demands it that he be that uh, that he be what is it you know uh, uh, punished and I, I there was a video that i wanted to make there was uh, that i i haven't had time with the philippines is a dangerous place you don't want to make enemies here in the philippines and uh even as you can see even if you don't want to you'll make enemies and that's of course I, I've always avoided that. I'm not here to make enemies. I'm here to enjoy the the things that make the Philippines so wonderful. But at the same time, there's I always said that like there's plenty of things that make the Philippines more so dangerous and so perilous. And probably how I want to close this is to let Brain Dead know there's nothing Filipinos want more than to see. Uh, than to cook and 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 um, what what uh, uh, here in the Philippines it's called ginisa, which is to to uh, to cook or to to fry or to burn an ugly American. Man, we just want to take all our bitterness and angry for all the things that we the disadvantages that we have. And then all of a sudden, here we go, we have a person with every advantage attacking a person with every disadvantage. And we would just love the opportunity to see that there's nothing that Filipinos would rather see than to see an overprivileged, ugly American burn and burn really good. So once this pandemic is over, and like I said, if the opportunity is there and when I, when I consult the proper authorities and as you can see it doesn't take much to file a case against someone i mean there's a lot of cyber libel going on and as and clearly uh, clearly brain dead is guilty of it and and you could say and you can say you, you could make the argument that like oh he's just saying what all the news outlets are saying yes those are news outlets but you are not a news outlet so those are not your privileges and it, and this is his oh, his his this white over Karen privilege mentality that he thinks that he can do what the local news people do and do it in his channel is the problem that he has. And like I said, there's nothing more satisfying and more uh, uh, joyful than than Filipinos seeing the ugly Americans, the ones that definitely deserve it, like brain dead burn. So, uh, like I said, I everybody knows that I'm busy right now, and I have a lot of 
I have still some unfinished business to do. And I'm one of those people that take it one challenge at a time. So once the other challenges are clear, and I, you know, brain, brain dead's not going anywhere. So I know that if he does, then good for him. You know, he took the advantage of the opportunity. But if he stuck, but if he sticks around and doesn't blow, and doesn't get out of town, then obviously staying here uh, is going to be grounds for the. Well, anyway, you, everybody gets what I'm saying. It's like I said, it's his. His time will come, like I said, I will consult the proper uh, experts, the proper authorities, and if, if we have a case, then we will continue. If not, then no big deal, but we definitely, uh, I think not only that, is the, the people demand it also, and that's what he deserves. So that's, so I'm gonna conclude it with that. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree, disagree that I, you know, I said a lot of things like, Am I, I'm not the, the, the person to be doing this with because I'm disciplined, I'm results based, and I have a code which people like Brain Dead and his cult followers don't have for some reason. Even in MMA, they have this rule where you don't kick a person when he's down on the ground. Imagine that. That's an MMA rule. I uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I, that's from what I understand when I watch MMA. I'm not an expert in MMA, but when the person is down on the ground, you could punch them, but you can't kick them. Still, there's like you're trying to beat it, beat each other to death, but there's still codes. You can't kick him while he's on the ground. And when people do that, they get punished for doing it. They'll lose. They'll 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 lose the match if they do that. So exactly. That's what Brain Dead did on his tourist visa. The guy was, I was in prison and let's kick him while he's down. So let me know if you agree or disagree. I'll be waiting in, in, the, in the comments. And, and Brain Dead, you know how to, to reach me, to contact me, he's done it before. If he wants to do this live stream on his channel, do one of his backward uh, apologies on his channel properly this time. But this time I'll, I'll be more, like I said, be more prepared. I'll have some bullet points that I wanna break, that I wanna bring up and we could discuss it properly. So that's the first step. And I, will, will I continue my, the, the legal case against him? I, like I said, it's, <laughs> I'm a pretty flexible guy, but unless you actually do the proper, I, the proper actions, then uh, we'll continue what we will we we do what we have to do. Anyway, that's my that's this this morning's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. This is Bev. It's only ex favela nos resurgemos.